Today I'll show you how to apply transparent PNG texture to your designs in Adobe Photoshop. So I've got a graphic open right here in Photoshop and it's on transparent background. It's all in layers. Uh, this graphic is from the Soundwave collection of graphic and logo templates. But what I want to do is I want to pick a texture. So I've got some textures here in the Thrift Mart collection and these are made from old vintage t-shirts with cracked ink, with worn out ink, with heather texture, and all kinds of just wash and worn textures. I think this world tour texture right here is a good one. So let's apply that. So let's go back into our Photoshop document here. And what we want to do is let's go to the very top layer and go to the very bottom layer, except for the background and just group these layers. So command or control G. So that puts everything in a group except for the background. So the next thing we want to do is let's place a texture. So let's go file, place embedded, and we'll go to these thrift mark textures, choose the world tour and go place. And the trick here is you want to size it to cover your graphics. So these textures, the scale looks best on say like a eight inch to say 13, 14 inch wide t-shirt graphic. And if you're gonna use this for a pocket hit, like a you know a three or four inch graphic, you wanna oversize the texture. But in this case, let's say this is a back graphic. So what we wanna do is scale it up to just cover the graphic like that. Now again, these are transparent PNG textures. So they're transparent, except they're not knocking transparency through your design. So with t-shirt graphics, typically you wanna knock the texture through the design, especially if it's simulating cracked or worn out ink, because that's the fabric color showing through. So what we wanna do here is go select, load selection, and then you can just for your channel choose transparency. Next thing we want to do is let's turn off the visibility of that texture and go and highlight our group and go layer, layer mask, hide selection. And now that texture is knocked through our graphic. So that's it. You can find these textures in the Thriftmark collection on the vectorlab.com and also these graphic and logo templates in the Soundwave collection. Thanks for watching.